वेलकम टू स्टडीज ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट फिजिक्स टेस्ट सजेशन फॉर बॉम्बे स्कॉटिश एंड सेंट जेवियस कॉलेज एट कोलकाता तो सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर इज मेजरमेंट एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी एक्जैक्टली इट्स फॉर्मूला यू हैव टू गिव इट फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी इज इक्वल्स टू न्यूमरिकल वैल्यू इन टू यूनिट डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन Uh, fundamental or basic units and derived units its definition along with example sub unit of meters and uh, and multiple units of meter this portion you must go through it because what can be expected is a conversion between them uh, like from bigger unit to the smaller units like from nano uh, light meter light year to nanometer conversions you might get from the examination now this box is very important where you can find the smaller units and bigger units and you might be asked to uh, find a relationship between the smaller unit and the bigger units what i am ex expecting is that the relationship between the micrometer and the parsec or angstrom and the parsec or angstrom and the light year you can expect this question conversion between them okay and while writing about the parsec the formula is very important okay formula is very important and uh, conversion between parsec and light year is also can expected that that can also be expected Another question which you can expect the total number of seconds in one century or in one decade. You need to express it in entire it completely. That means that for one day, how many seconds are there for one month, or you can say the entire year, how many seconds are there, and then multiply multiply it according to the question. Means for ten years, then multiply it by ten, or for a hundred years, multiply it by hundred accordingly. Just look at this. Look at this. You might expect this sort of question. Complete the following, uh, or you can ex expect this in the form of MCQ. Okay. Complete the following. It is one light year equals to how many meters, or one meter equals to how many angstrom. Similarly, one nanosecond is how many seconds, or one microsecond equals to how many seconds. Now take this question. This very important question. What is the mass of uh, an atom of oxygen? Okay. Uh, sorry. What is not? What is the mass? Is the question would be the mass of a uh, of an atom of oxygen is sixteen u. and express it in kg you might get this question i'm repeating the question the mass of an atom of oxygen is 16 u express it in kg next question it might be the mass of a, of a molecule of hydrogen is 3.332 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg find the mass of 1 kg mole of hydrogen gas okay next question the size of a particle is 4.6 mu Express it in meter, where mu means micrometer. Next is your uh, uh, take down this question. The average mass of an the average mass of an atom of uranium is three point nine into ten to the power twenty uh, minus twenty five kg. Find the number of atoms in one gram of uranium. One gram of uranium. Uh, and uh, your MCQ question might be of this. The wavelength of the wavelength of article of light is Five hundred. The wavelength of uh, I'm repeating the question. The wavelength of light is five thousand angstrom. Express it in nanometer or meter. Express it in nanometer or meter. Uh, next question. The mass. The average mass of an atom. No, no, no. Sorry. I've already repeated that. Take down this question. It takes five years for light to reach the Earth from a star. Express the distance of star from the Earth in light year. And in kilometer, where you are going to take the speed of light as three into ten to the power eight meter per second, and one year as three point one five three into ten to the power seven seconds. Next part is motion in one dimension. From here, you you can expect the question difference between the scalar quantities and the vector quantities, displacement and distance, uniform acceleration and non-uniform accelerations. Question like this, along with that, differences. along with that difference between the uniform speed and the instantial speed you can expect the non uniform uh, non uniform or variable velocity difference between them and i i must say along with that the example is also very important in this page you're going to find one question regarding the uh, rain drops regarding the the rain drops that is very important question the question you might get the question in this form uh, what is the terminal velocity what is terminal velocity let me show you where you can get this answer from here 
It is written initially as the raindrop starts falling. First, it, its velocity increases due to force of gravity. But very soon, due to viscosity or friction and upthrust of air, the viscous force and upthrust balances the force of gravity on the raindrop. With the result that the net force on the drop becomes zero. Then the drop falls down with a uniform velocity called a terminal velocity. You can expect, or what I can say, I'm 99% sure regarding this question. Next question is the value of the G. Uh, yeah, value of G on Earth, where it is maximum, where it is minimum, it is maximum at the poles and minimum at the equator. How, uh, how the height or depth affects value of G. Uh, value of G decreases, value of G decreases with the altitude uh, and also with the depth from the Earth's surface, its value decreases actually. From the, from the, uh, exercise portion you can expect this question number eight can displacement be zero if even if distance is not zero you can expect this question then uh, this question question number 28 if a stone and a pencil are dropped simultaneously in vacuum in vacuum from the top of a tower which of the two will reach the ground first give reason for that along with the Along with that, a numericals you can expect the questions like go here, example number six, example number seven, and example example number uh, six, example number seven, and example number eight. Uh, let me read out the questions. Uh, question number six is a train first uh, first travels for thirty minutes with a velocity of thirty km per hour, and then for forty km forty minutes with a velocity of forty km per hour in the same direction. Calculate the total distance traveled, the average velocity of the train. This question. You can expect the average velocity question in the question paper numbers, values or magnitude, what I can say, uh, might get changed. Apart from that, structure will remain same. Question number seven, at its, as it is written, a car travels a distance of 50 km with a velocity of 25 km per hour and then 60 km with a velocity of 20 km per hour in the same direction. Calculate the total time of journey and the average velocity of the car. And the average velocity of the car. I know the uh, my phone is just it's uh, disturbing. It's moving, so kindly bear this. Next question, uh, question number eight. The velocity of an object increases at a constant rate from 20 meter per second to 50 meter per second in 10 seconds. Find the acceleration. Okay. Let us move on to the next part from the chapter law laws of motion. Now this part, the general character of non-contact forces. Now this point question is important. They might ask you to write these two points. The what are the general character of non-contact forces? Okay. From the exercise, you can expect this question. Question number four: A ball is hanging by a string from the ceiling of the roof. Draw a neat level diagram showing the forces acting on the ball and the string. Important question. From this part, now from this part, Newton's first law of motion and inertia. You need to prepare all the give reasons, all the give reasons which includes inertia of rest and inertia of motion, all of them. But for if you ask me what I suggest, go with this questions. When a train suddenly starts moving forward, the passenger standing in the compartment tends to fall backwards. This one along with the, that, sorry, along with this uh, on shaking, on shaking or giving jerk to the branches of a tree, foot fall down. These two questions, which I am expecting might come. Uh, from uh, inertia of motion, you can expect this one. When a passenger jumps out of a train, he falls down. Next, a cyclist riding along level road does not come to rest immediately after it stops paddling. With this, a ball thrown vertically upwards by a person in a moving train come back to his hand. Okay. Now, these are uh, what I'm suggesting you, but to be on the safe side, you better prepare all. Better prepare all the examples given in this concise book. But uh, what I'm suggesting, you be it will be better that you prepare these things, whatever I'm suggesting, whatever I called out, little better than the others, little better. Focus, give your attention or focus in these questions little more compared to others. From linear momentum and Newton's second law of motion, go with this regarding the symbol portion symbol before the symbol of triangle before MB denotes a small change in the product of M and V. You might expect this question. You can expect this question also that C, the speed of light is the ultimate speed. No material particle can acquire speed equal to 
or greater than c and beside this question is also important for example in rocket motion the mass of rocket decreases as the burnt gases expel out of the nozzle so the mass does not remain constant okay with this all this three graphs are important let me zoom okay this first one where the acceleration produced in a body of a given mass is directly proportional to the force applied on it along with that the force needed to produce a given acceleration in a body is directly proportional to the mass of the body this graph this both both these graphs are important with that this third portion is also important okay uh, the mathematical expression of newton's second law of motion the graph showing the variation of acceleration with mass out of this three i feel this one is more important this asymptotic form of graph which asymptotic means the graph is not ending where it starts where it ends we don't know it will never it will never touch the axis a axis that means the y axis the acceleration or the x axis that is the mass it will not touch so this type of graph is known as the asymptotic graph okay you might get this question the graph showing the variation of acceleration with mass asymptotic is the name of the graph okay is the name of the graph but the graph is showing the variation of acceleration with mass next question the athlete often lands is give reason from this portion the athlete often lands on sand after taking a high jump with this this question when a glass i expect this question when a glass vessels fall on a hard floor they break but they do not break when they fall on a carpet or sand what i'm expecting i'm expecting this question along with this this question this numerical uh, you can expect this numerical that is a force take down the question a force acts on for 0.1 second on a body of mass 1.2 kg initially at rest the force then ceases to act and the body moves through 2 meter in the next 1 second find the magnitude of force find the magnitude of force take down the question regarding a cricket ball either going to get a uh, your give reason in cricket regarding cricket ball or numerical but uh, cricket ball give reason is too long so you can expect the question from a cricket ball numerical question from a uh, cricket ball related to cricket ball a cricket ball of mass let me repeat the question let me call out the question a cricket ball of mass 100 g moving with a speed of 30 m per second is brought to rest <laughs> is brought to rest by a player in 0.5 Zero five seconds. Find change in momentum of ball and average force applied by the player. Practice this graph from the numericals portion. Okay, I'm not calling out the question. You can see it on the screen from Newton's third law of motion. Let us continue. From the motion, uh, from Newton's second law, of, uh, third law of motion. Expect this question. motion of war boat in water firing a bullet from a gun and this one motion of a boat away from the shore while stepping down from it next part is gravitation relationship between small g and capital g very 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 important question very important question. with that importance of law of gravitation what is the importance of law of gravitation and all, along with that all the formulas related to free fall is important okay difference between mass and weight relationship between kgf and gf gf and time next thing is uh, heat and reflection of light for, from reflection of light do the diagrams from the examples very very important and from heat give reasons and numericals it will be better that if you do the numericals from the example it will per, fulfill the both the purposes of doing the exercise sums also because similar sums you are going to get in the exercise so better you practice it from the examples and uh, if you are going to the exam do see this diagram from reflection of light it is there in the example do see this diagram it is very very important and i'm quite sure that it is going to come this diagram this stray diagram is going to come i'm quite sure of it So with this this video comes to an end all the best students take care bye